welcome to Small Business Saturday. You know, contrary to what the name says, it's a huge day for the U.S. economy. Last year, a record 112 million shoppers spent more than $15.4 billion, with a B, at independent retailers and restaurants, and they're not just on Main Street. After the rush of Black Friday that started early and ended late, today small businesses are in the spotlight with deep discounts online and off. Small businesses make up 99% of American companies, employing 58 million people. One of the shopping trends among millennials is buying local, handmade, craftsman-type products, and you're not going to find that at the big box retailers. Ooh, that dress is beautiful. Ciara Brown started the Diamond Hanger out of the San Diego warehouse two years ago. The company sells vintage designer clothes all online with no brick-and-mortar shop. 50 years ago, I would have definitely went straight for having a retail store on Main Street. It's a lot more cost efficient to have a warehouse and to be able to operate from literally anywhere you live. She gets the word out about the diamond hanger on Facebook and Instagram, and then does the majority of business on eBay, where customers can purchase one-of-a-kind items with just a few clicks. eBay CEO Devin Wenig says small businesses must go digital to thrive in a competitive market of endless options. What is the value for the customer there? You know, e-commerce has brought transparency. People now get access and they understand what's a great value or not. They may not have known that in an era before the Internet. They used to walk into a store and think they were getting a great deal. But now they're one click away from checking whether they got a great deal. So e-commerce has been a great level. eBay, along with Etsy, Handmade at Amazon, and Square, are among several large tech companies providing the software and hardware to launch businesses like the Diamond Hanger. Combining a vintage business model with an innovative strategy to make old feel new again. And incredible how much impact small businesses have in Small Business Saturday. Before we get to that, yeah, Joe, I want to ask you about Black Friday. Because you have all these other big shopping days, because folks are going online, frankly, That's using right. their phones to do their Christmas and holiday shopping. So is Black Friday still relevant? Black Friday is still very relevant if you're looking for those big ticket items. And as we saw from yesterday, a lot of people still lining up. But those sales have now stretched over time into Small Business Saturday, into Cyber Monday. But it still is a very important moment for retailers because they're trying to figure out how to handle this new retail apocalypse, which is basically businesses not knowing what to do as Amazon and other big online retailers pick up steam. Uh, small businesses, first of all, I don't think a lot of folks realize that 99% of all businesses yeah. in this country are small businesses. Stunning, and right? They yeah. have an online presence, but, I, you know, if, if you're shopping online, why would you shop for a, a small business online versus a major retailer? What, what are the pros and cons? Well, if you're looking for something really special or really different, it's a good time to go to a small business and pick up something that's maybe handmade. You're going to Etsy or a handmade by Amazon, companies like that. But, you know, all these small businesses, they employ about 57 million Americans. And really small businesses are the backbone of our economy here. So as you think about how you're making your purchases and you want to, you know, make it a little bit more of a variety, it's good to support both sides because chances are your, your local economy is supported entirely by small businesses. True. It's also such a great shopping experience to go to it's small fine. business. It's fine. Yeah. Exactly. Always. Joe, thanks so much. Great reporting. Appreciate it. Great to see you. Good to see you too.